Welcome to the Tom and Frenchy podcast. Uh, we have um, Alex wearing <laughs> jean shorts, and I cannot continue without talking about that. I've seen his cactuses. <laughs> I've seen everything. He's sitting there in his producer chair. He's cut off his jeans into into jorts, but I think he's cut off his jorts into smaller jorts. <laughs> <laughs> we're already right. short, and he's already got he's got quite hairy legs. So it's just I don't know which hair is ball hair. I don't know which is <laughs> it's a lot. Which is which? And then he's got the girl power tight white tee on. <laughs> So it's all happening. Tom, how you doing? I'm good, bro. Uh, this is our final episode of the year. It's almost Christmas time. Fuck. Um, it's busy time of the year. Busy time on. of the year. I had this weird ass thing happen to me today. I was getting my mm. second coffee for yep. the day. Need a good boost. <laughs> yeah, I like to. Yo, okay. I'm really interested in your thoughts on this because I'm generally a polite guy, and I was. I was mm-hmm. This is. I got myself in a situation here. It's one of my local coffee shops. There's a small yes. Sri Lankan man who runs it. Actually, I think he might be Bangladeshi. <laughs> they don't like when you mix that up. <laughs> one of them. He likes cricket. I know that, but he hates India. So it's one of those two. Mm. Um, he get, I get my latte. I'm standing there waiting for him to make it. And he uh, has these sweets, this um, coconut-looking thing on a tray. He goes, mm. oh, try this for free. I'm going, oh, I'm all good. He goes, no, try it, try it. It's oh, free, have it. pressure. So I, I have this white coconut sweet type type thing. Like a Christmassy, I can imagine what it is. <sighs> and it was fucking disgusting. Oh, no. <laughs> and I put the whole thing in my mouth. Oh, I'm like, oh it's dude. gonna be and it's fucking gross. And I'm just chewing it. And he's gone staring at me. He's literally watching me eat it because I think he made it, was trying to do a new treat for the store or something. Oh, I'd be worried he started a prank channel or something. Oh, it tasted like that. It was like off coconut and salt and just, and I'm chewing it for ages. I chew it for so long. He offers me a drink of water. Oh, no. <laughs> and I know what your face would be like because you're not great at hiding the truth. I was just trying to get it down a swallow. but I, I reckon was... you would have been like, I was like, dude, I don't know what the texture was, but I was like... Gr- was it savoury or oh, sweet? I don't know what it was supposed mm. to be. And so I'm chewing for so long. He offers me a drink of water. I'm like, hey, that, yeah, that might be good. Oh, keep, no. keep, help cleanse the palate or something. And he gets a mug from the sink, a dirty mug. I know it's dirty because he runs it under the tap with his bare hands, sort of wipes... <sighs> Around oh. the mug, fills it up with tap water, and then offers it to me. Bruh. We washed it with cold water in his hands. That's not making it <laughs> fucking cleaner, cunt. <laughs> That's fucking gross. It's gross. Would you prefer to be hydrated and wash that down or keep chewing forever? That was the decision <laughs> I had. I go, what will be worse is fucking hand water. Dirty oh. ass. <laughs> That's making me feel sick Yeah, I've heard of hand washing Mug. before But not like that yeah. He didn't use soap or nothing He just put it in And then mm. used his own hands and, like, and it's a cafe They've got plenty of disposable cups Oh the They've ready. got plenty Plenty And then also like He's from I know he's <laughs> Australian Lives in Australia now But mm. he is from the subcontinent And they Eat with their hands Wipe their asses Wipe their ass with their hands Without toilet paper I know he didn't is Probably yeah, they wipe with one hand mm. um, in, in over there. So I know he didn't, but also, like, I don't that's, think... That's running through your head. It's running through my head. I don't think if I saw anyone do that, oh, I'd be totally cool with it. Oh, no. Yeah. But it was so close, and it was so blatant, and then he just hands it to me, and I have to drink it in front of him. I can't be like, oh, you got dirty-ass hands, This seems bro. like some kind of test. I Maybe go, you're on Current Affair or something. I go there a lot, too. Otherwise, if you... One of those ones you do and have an awkward encounter, you have to avoid that place for at least... Oof. A month, yeah. So I just sucked, you have drank to the water. You don't drink coffee I, anymore. I, it's I, I drank the water and I took another one. I go, I'll take one for the missus. <laughs> did you make her have it? <laughs> no, threw it away. <laughs> but then he's like, "Oh, maybe you did like it." Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, oh God. Yeah, that's bad. You know what's what's been happening with you? Oh, you know, I went and saw Christmas lights. I've never done that. <laughs> Have you ever done that? You've never see? done that. Like gone out to find them, not just like randomly go past them and be like, oh, Christmas lights. Like we went seeking Christmas lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We I've used, never done we that. We used to have the family every time. You've done that in Sydney? Nah, not in Sydney. Yeah, I've never done it in Sydney. I might have done it as a kid. Bigger and better? Fucking wild, dude. There was this street, like a cul-de-sac, and literally all the houses did it. And they're all like, it was funny because there was this one house and they're all just chain smoking out the front, smashing fucking Bundy rums, 
blowing cigarette smoking kids' faces. It was a whole vibe. Yeah, there's a few where it's like a street party thing. Yeah. And the, and all the families are out every night. And like this was a few past. days ago. So that's probably what, the 16th of December. Mm. Are they going to kick on for nine days until Christmas? Fucking oath they are. <laughs> Do you know how much that shit costs and how yeah, long it takes true, to set up? That's true. their festival, bro. Bro, there was crazy shit like mini villages where it was all intricate little fucking things. I'm like... They put a lot of effort. Yeah, into there's it. one where it's like it's like they they even light up like the sheds and the granny flat, and you open mm. the door, Santa's in there fucking Rudolph, <laughs> <laughs> pulling pulling the reindeer. Yeah, to back. and you're like, where did you get a robot to do that? And then you realise it's a man. It's in a, a man suit and a horse and with... a woman or man <laughs> in a reindeer costume. Oh fuck, the one I saw yeah. was a horse with sticks on its head. Oh <laughs> shit, yeah, you saw a man wanted... fucking a horse? Well, Santa, it was Santa, oh, so it wasn't. Fuck, he's it dirty, wasn't dude. weird. No, they have some really. Like, cause to get bigger and better, everyone's seen everything. They've got all mm. the cool lights along mm. the roof. You've got your blow up inflatable Santas, and then some. I saw another one. Uh, it had a full workshop of elves. Oh, and you do, can you guess what the elves were? Of oriental descent? No, 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 no. <laughs> That's a <laughs> sweatshop. Make- That's oh. a sweatshop. You're thinking of a different... Oh, sorry. It was little people. Yep. They dressed them as elves. I heard they were getting paid. Um, were like relatively to, to their size. They, yes. they cut down the payments. Yes. Um, and so they dressed them up as elves and they had were making uh, toys and all sorts of things. Hectic. Yeah. It was like it was good. It was next level because mm. you're like, oh, fuck, I haven't seen that. And But also it's like, damn, this isn't... This isn't right. It's a bit like, ooh, that's a bit on the nose. Have mm. you seen any other like really far out ones? There was, uh, I'm trying to think. Um, there was a big display and it was Home Alone. Mm. But the trick was every time a kid walked past, <laughs> these guys would pop out and take them. <laughs> and like we all laughed. The sticky bandits. But, yeah, yeah, but then the parents were like, are they coming back? And some of them didn't. Oh, that's kind of funny. You could dress up as the Sticky Bandits and kids wouldn't be afraid of you. Fuck, we'd look good as the Sticky Bandits. That would actually... <laughs> we would look fucking good That'd as... That'd be the... great. That should be a shirt. Hey, Marv! I feel like I photoshopped that one, yeah. Yeah, surely. Yeah. Is it Marv and who's the other one? Larry. Hey, Marv. Hey, Larry. Larry maybe. Damn, this. They're really after that kid. Like, everyone in the streets away and they just really want to... Stick it up that kid. I he do get that, but... murders them plenty of times. Oh, that'd be dead in normally with yeah. the nail guns and yeah, stuff. Like and the they've hot iron to the head. Pretty sure he electrocutes them. <laughs> yeah. That's outlawed in 48 states in America. There was America. that weird scene where he's just waterboarding them for a while. Bro, they, yeah. <laughs> they had to go to, to the island. What's the... Where did they... Yeah, they went to Guantanamo. Guantanamo <laughs> Bay to film that. Yeah, there was the Home Alone Guantanamo Bay. Let's go rob these houses in Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> I don't think we should, Marv. <laughs> they don't have anything to rob, not even rights. Harry. Harry, Harry and Marv. Harry. And Harry's the tall one. I'd be Harry, you'd be yeah, Marv. Definitely. <laughs> it's Joe Pesci, isn't yeah. it? He's, that's iconic. Okay, that's one of the funniest things is when you see... You only know an actor from like a kid's movie. Mm. E.g. Joe Pesci, the sticky band. And then you see him in Goodfellas and yeah. shit. And you're like, fuck. He's a real actor. He's actually a real actor. Or for ages, you only saw Steve Buscemi in Adam Sandler films. Yeah. Doing like some crazy. With cross eyes. Cross eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was an Ario. <laughs> some shit. And then you saw him like actually acting like, oh, fuck. Yeah. This is where he, this is where he comes from. We watched um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, Christmas Holiday. The, the popular one at Christmas. Chevy Chase. Doesn't hold up. Doesn't hold up. It's like bad storyline, to be honest. Like I was watching it, I'm like, they'll randomly cross to the neighbors who's like a lane from Seinfeld and mm. some random old dude. And it's like, why was this included in this movie? It was just mm. a strange choice. Yeah. Not as good. Whereas I, don't... I watched ba- Bad Santa, the first one, still funny. Oh, yeah. That was funny. He's been a bad Santa. Bad Santa's a bit. Bad Santa's great, but Chevy Chase never held up. I remember I was a kid and I was like, I'm too old for this fucking yeah. movie. It yeah. was just goofy ass slapstick. Mm. Chevy Chase is good, like funny off the camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he seems like a real peach. <laughs> All right, what do we want to talk about? Oh, Christmas movies. I could just, that, that would be a whole extra, oh, we could just start a whole podcast series just talking about Christmas movies, <laughs> I swear. Um, should we do the things about Australian Christmas? Maybe? Oh, definitely. While we're on the topic. Yeah, let's do it. So we wanted to talk about, 
Uh, it's kind of a fake news segment, guys. So <laughs> we're going to say things that are different about Australian Christmas. It's going to start off normal and you're going to see it's going to get a bit weird. You're in on the joke, <laughs> as you always get to be being our and listeners. And TikTok will have no idea and the Americans will watch it and be like, holy shit, these Aussies are crazy. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the plan. So if you see this video popping up, remember, lean in, lean yeah. into it. Make like, up some other true. things. Yeah, yeah, I hate it when they do that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Things that are different about Australian Christmas. Um, well, the most obvious one is Australian Christmas is in summer. So for Christmas Day, we'll go to the beach. We'll swim in the pool playing cas- classic catches. We'll, you know, do shit like that. Yes, yes. Christmas lunch is the big meal of the day, not dinner. Mm. Is that different? Yeah, I think they do dinners over there because wow. we do it in the day in the sunshine. You know, it's a bit different. That's random. Um Kids leave beer for Santa. Mm. Instead of milk and cookies, they'll often chuck a beer in because our Santa likes to party. Yeah, and when the kids are over 18, they might leave him a little bit of snow, he likes to call it. <laughs> <laughs> Only a little bit. Just, just a to little keep line. him awake delivering presents. <laughs> uh, we also put coins in plum puddings and you get to keep what you find. Mm. Um, what, that's why I didn't like plum pudding, but I always used to eat it just so I could make some money. Yeah, hell yeah, it's an investment. Hustle. Um, we don't eat chicken on Christmas Day. Because of Jesus, obviously. Obviously. Women aren't allowed to participate in the breaking of Christmas crackers. Mm. Obvious one. Yeah, yeah. Instead of singing traditional Christmas carols, Australians often sing the best of Creed. With arms wide open. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Um, at midnight, we all purge our daily feasts onto the lawn to cleanse ourselves for the new year ahead. Yeah, yeah. you got to start fresh. Mm. After Christmas ends, each person breaks off a bit of the tree and we head to the nearest river to play poo sticks with them. Oh, I never win that. I get oh, so it's hard. hard I, don't, isn't I don't know whether to get a big piece or a little piece. And do you go for the face or do uh, you go for the body with the poo stick? I don't think you know what poo <laughs> sticks is. I definitely yeah, think Queensland poo sticks. <laughs> Queensland poo sticks. What is poo sticks? You, you stand at the at a bridge and you throw it in the river and then you run to the other side of the bridge and you see which stick comes across first. Comes then, out first uh, out of under right. the bridge and you like poo. a stream. It's not. It's Winnie the Pooh used to play it. Oh, dude, you <laughs> spelt it P O O. because we're reading it. Because huh? <laughs> we're reading it. Yeah, but for context, <laughs> I thought you were doing a similar thing, but putting poo on sticks. That's or even something. better. Let him think. <laughs> Let him think. Okay. <clears throat> on Boxing Day, each person is allowed to call out one other relative to spar with uh, in the boxing room. Hence mm. the term Boxing Day. Yeah, I'm going to beat the shit out of mum this year. Well, it depends if she cooks. Whoever cooks the turkey does not have to box. Ah, so try cooking, to get someone else to cook. She's and then, cooking the chicken, the it. turkey. Sorry, we can't have chicken. Yep. <laughs> well, d- well, depends if she cooks or not. Try to get uh, someone else to cook and then you All can right. call her out. Yeah, cool. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> okay, there's a strange Funny. Christmas made up. While we're doing some, uh, some things, Tom, I wrote mm. another list for us because you know I like my lists. You do. <clears throat> okay. These are the eight best types of drinks. Okay, let's hear them. Eight best types of drinks. Eight. A pina colada on a a pina colada in a pool bar on holidays at a tropical island. Mm. 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 It's Bali just special. that combination. You get at the pool bar, you get the fresh fruit. The one where you sit in the pool. Yeah, like yeah. The in the water. In the oh, the yeah. stools in the pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then you can piss. You don't have to go to the toilet. Then there'll be thing. a few stools in the pool. Yeah, yeah. a few poo sticks. <laughs> um, seven uh, Staffy So that's when you mm. finished a hectic shift at a bar or club You're sitting around at 3-4am Pouring your own drinks And, and, and drinking away the trauma of the, That oh, you yeah. encountered on that shift they, They're the best, I remember those Yes Six Best type of drink Glass bottle coke at any restaurant When it's a surprise So you order a coke And then they bring it in the glass bottle You're like, fuck yeah, this is going to be the best coke ever And it is and then if you get in a like a a fight in the car park with a bunch of greases, you can use it as a knife. Well, yeah, that's why it's six, not seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, five, the fifth best type of drink. It's 2008. Ooh. You're 19 at a club. Flowrider is on. Someone orders a round of Jager bombs. Oh, dude, so good. Essentially just Jager bombs. But yeah, you, you just need drop some sort the of shot glass in, a bit of splash. Mm. Mm. Four, blue parade while hungover. Oof, iconic. Do you always go blue or do you guys go other colours? It's either blue or red, but often blue. Fair. Yeah. Mm, I like the yellow. 
Interesting. See, I was doing yellow for after I played sport and blue when I'm hungover. Uh-huh. I don't know why, but I always blue. stick to that. I guess so. Mm. Okay, third best type of drink. Volker Cruises at a high school party. True. You don't have to be in high school either to enjoy it. <laughs> I remember, yeah. I remember there used to be a bar that would have them for, on special, like $3 uh, vodka mm. cruises or like, um, what are those other ones? Breezes. Bacardi. Oh, Bacardi Breezes. And they were just so cheap, so they're kind of a novelty and we'd all smash them in two seconds. We pretended it was because they were so cheap, but it was so much yeah. better than beer at that age. Oh, yeah, You're like, oh, true. this is the best. Refreshing. Okay, two. That glass of port you have after your wife and kids leave you, you're alone in a motel room cry wanking to episodes of Xena Warrior Princess. Yeah, it tastes good. Oh, that, yeah, it mm. just... Takes the edge off. Hits the spot, doesn't it? <laughs> and number one, that first sip of tap beer after you accidentally mow down a bunch of cyclists in your car. Mm. Can't beat it. Got to have enough head, though. It's got to have enough head. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Ironically, because... Some of the cyclists may have lost their heads. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know a good panel beater? Hit us up. Hit us up. Our car's a mess. <laughs> 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 All right. There we go. All Some right. good drinks. Oh, yeah. Mm, I think I, we wrote this one. Um, when did we write it? We wrote it on tour. I remember it happening, but I can't remember why. I think it was in New Zealand. Did you have a glass Coke? Yeah, we had a glass Coke mm. at the Mexican restaurant. And then uh, someone yeah. told me Mexican Coke's actually the best. People always talk about that in LA as well because you can get it in like America, Mexican yeah. Coke. And they're like, it's got real sugar in it. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? I see. I hear a lot about Colombian Coke, but <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is the Mexican. Yeah. That is another list I think we need to do. <laughs> best types of drugs. <laughs> um, not right. ketamine anymore after what happened to old Perry. Oh, did you hear the result? Results came out. Yeah, it makes sense. I listened to his book, and he was on drugs all the time. Well, yeah, they yeah. they're trying to blame it on ketamine. So if you don't know that that autopsy came back ketamine overdose, I was like, if it wasn't ketamine, it would have right, been something. You're on else. everything in a spa. Yeah. You fell asleep and you yeah. drowned. That's yeah. don't blame K for that. That's why you got to always sit on the spa jets, keep you awake and alert. <laughs> yes, and erect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we mentioned this the other week. We're going to do a Chris Lilly character ranking. So we mentioned this. A few people have been like, where was it? And we didn't want to do it at a live podcast because it would have been chaos. Too many opinions in a room. We needed to take our time to do this properly because Chris Lilly is possibly the GOAT uh, oh, Australian definitely. comedic actor. Um, and so we, we started brainstorming and we realized how many – Iconic characters he had, so we had to get it all ready. We had to be ready for you. You guys are going to be angry with this list, though, because... Everyone's got a strong Everyone's opinion. got a strong opinion about it. If you um, haven't seen any Chris Lilly shows, Summer Heights High, We Can Be Heroes, uh, what's the one on Netflix? Angry Boys, Lunatics. 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 Um, pause it right Jumei, now. Go watch, e- go watch every season Jonah of it. Tonga. Yes, pause the podcast right now. Go watch every single season, then come back to this, yes. and you'll have a strong opinion Where like Where can us. they watch it? I think, I think <laughs> it's on like... TomandFrenchy.com <laughs> slash Patreon. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Tom French. I'm pretty sure it's on something. I think it's on uh, Binge or Stan. Yeah, or you can Netflix. find them all. It's hard finding the one with uh, Smouse, which we will get into. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. All right, so there's no real uh, clean way to get into this, so we're just going to grab a character and we're going to guess where we put them on the list. So we've just, got 18 um, ranks. Alex, we're going to po- put them out. You probably should screen record. Do you know how to do that? Uh, y- I think so. Do I just press screen record? No. Uh, I think you need QuickTime. Do you have QuickTime, Alex? This is not my computer. Oh, no, that's all right. But Don't worry about it. But there is QuickTime. Uh, we can just quickly do it. And... So yes. go file. Yeah. <laughs> See file at the top? At the top. New screen recording. Boom. And then do the full screen. Yeah. Just oh, you don't need that. But, oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, really that's good. There we go. And okay. then I think, yep, is that recording, do we reckon? Yep. Probably. Does it say recording anywhere for you, Alex? Mm. Oh, fuck. What no, are we doing? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Let's trust it. Otherwise, um, we'll just figure it out later. Wait. Oh, I don't know. Let's move on. Because it's got the this little shadow here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just go. All right. Are you going to grab a character, Alex? Yep. So, first one I'll grab is Joyce Jeffries from Lunatics, who <laughs> is a <laughs> former <laughs> adult film star who has become an extreme hoarder. <laughs> yes. She should have been a better character. Because former yeah. adult film star, you're thinking she's going to be hilarious. 
She wasn't not hilarious. I didn't mind her as a character. Like, she had the hoarder instincts. She had... Did she have big swinging breasts, or am I imagining <laughs> yeah, that? Yeah, that's right. Uh, she did? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but then she just she was just a bit mid with her personality. She was a shut-in, and then her friend was a bit... I don't know. Oh, she I'm gave putting me her like, down the bottom. She gave me a bit of Britney energy now. Yeah. You know what I mean? I yeah. Think let's, put what, her, let's put her put towards like the bottom. 17 for now. Yeah. We've got, a, we've got some bangers. Okay, who's up next, Alex? Next is Becky Douglas, a oh, seven yes. foot three girl who has moved to California to attend college with her non identical normal sized twin sister. <laughs> yeah, from Lunatics. Okay. Yes. The seven foot three girl, just the prosthetics alone, just watching her walk, it's just got to be above Joyce. Yes. But not much not above. Much. I'll just put her at 16. Yeah. Put her at 16. We're, we're going to reshuffle as we go. And if yeah. you remember, she's she's got a social media account at who she calls the Beckonators. The Beckonators. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic. Okay, this is another one from Lunatics. Do you just want to go from Lunatics? Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Just keep cooking. Um, we've got Jana Melhopen Jonks. Oh, I found a her. South quite African funny. lesbian I liked her. Pet psychic. Yeah. She what was, was her animal psychic. name? She's like Jeffrey. Advark. Yeah, the- Oh, Jeffrey. I don't know what it was. But yeah, she's it was, good. She was funny. I'd put her... I reckon 10? Uh, 10. Put 10? her at 10 for now. She a good accent. Um, Very A memorable. little bit of blackface, which I like. Yeah, just a just tasteful a amount. Just a tasteful Some, amount. Yeah. Bronzer. Oh, bronzer, sorry. Yeah. We'll say that. We'll say that so they don't <laughs> pull that off Netflix. <laughs> uh, next, we've got Quinton Cook. Oh, the guy with He's his big bad. ass. No, oh, is that the wait? Is that the real estate so, agent? Yeah, it's the incompetent real estate agent who oh, yeah, dreams of becoming and the a DJ. DJ. He was funny. He's kind of the most relatable character <laughs> in that whole uh, series. Because those real estate agents so similar, fat asses. I think just on relatability alone, he's got to be in the sort of thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, yeah. And that fat ass. Yeah. Do you Go. remember his DJ name? No, is a DJ cunt, but spelt with a Q. <laughs> For oh, Quint. Is yeah, it? DJ Quant or something. Okay, put him at 13 for now. We might He might move up or down a few spots, but he's not above the South African lady. Okay. Next yeah. we've got Gavin McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> Can you remind us what So he Gavin was, was the 12-year-old, obnoxious 12-year-old, destined to become the future Earl of an English country <laughs> estate, <laughs> Gayhurst. And he coined the phrase on his Instagram account, dope as fuck. Oh, that was a good catchphrase. Dope as, dope as fuck. Dope as fuck. And he'd do little tricks and shit. He like had a prank channel or something mm-hmm. where he'd just throw rocks at pigeons, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, and he, I think one of his great pranks at the estate <laughs> was to put a big black dildo on a, uh, what's those little helicopter things? A drone. Yeah, a drone and just chase people with it. Oh, I've got no strong feelings about this character. What do you guys think? Maybe 14 after Quint. Yeah, I think Quint's above him. Yeah. Still memorable. Lunatics Dope not, as fuck not was rating a well that... It's hard because he's already had so many good characters. Maybe we've got what's that? What's that called when you love just something because you saw it first or oh ages yeah, ago? for no, sure. Got a bit of that. It was more our gen. Okay, keep going. Okay, lastly from Lunatics is Keith Dick, a fashion retailer and owner of fashion store My Dick, <laughs> who is also in love with Karen. His cash, re- his cash register. Yeah, that's oh that's yeah, that 18, was wrong. Eighteen, 18. 18. Yeah. He's the worst character Crystal Lee's ever done. <laughs> <laughs> just everything about him missed. It was just like yeah, the cat in love with the cash register. It's like something. It like, feels like a dream I've had that makes no sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's like whacked out. Okay, uh, where, what are we doing next? Okay, so now we've got uh, some characters from Angry Boys, and first up is Jen Okazaki, the Japanese mum, the controlling Japanese. Is that yeah, right? That's of right. Ricky so, Wong. No, no, of Tim. He did another Asian So character. the manipulative oh. Japanese mother trying to turn her son Tim into a professional skateboarder. Uh, and Ooh. she builds a successful empire called Gay Style Enterprises. <laughs> this one's blurry in my mind, to be honest. He does a very good Asian accent. And oh, it was he does. kind of something really funny about him being a Japanese mum, mm-hmm. having to hang out with a, a child skateboarding. I'll um, take your lead on this one because I, I can't think remember it very it's well. It's hard. I would put him in 13 and move um, the real estate agent up one. Yeah, better than the real estate. I think real estate's she, better. Wow, okay. he's saying. Move, what do you think? Yeah. I don't know. Just the Tim, you're gay is one of the funniest. Oh, lines. she was trying to make him gay. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, I'm not gay, and and then she's oh, like, No, no, Tim, you're that gay. That sounds familiar. Okay, put she's it. Like put her, put her, put her in a twelve, Babe, twelve then or eleven. Uh, yeah, it's contentious. No, nah, if you're if he you, is relatable though. I definitely know. Yeah, it's fine. We can swap. Nah, yeah, keep it at twelve then. Yeah, that's good. Okay, next, iconic, 
Smouse. S. Oh, Mouse. <laughs> Controversial points alone, he gets a bump. Because Chris Lilly did black uh, face bronzer, just a bit of bronzer. Yeah, and the character a, was a rapper. As an Amer- African American rapper. Yes. Um, Fully funded series, filmed eight episodes um, with an African-American girlfriend mm. and all other African-American characters. What was the song Smells did again? Uh, so he did Slap My Elbow. Yeah, it's kind of like Soldier Boy, eh? It was like yeah, a Soldier Boy party. Right. Where, where do we want to put Smells then? I reckon above these guys. He's pretty iconic. He's, pretty iconic. He's iconic. I reckon mm. at least. We'll what, put what him in the top ten for now. Yeah, put him nine. Put him at nine for now. <laughs> yes, I, I've actually listened to his album. Chris his Lilly did album. put him Chris at eight. Lilly did put him at eight. Album. Album. Put, put him, him at eight. He's getting them streams. Put him at eight. Yeah, <laughs> still making money for Chris. <laughs> Um, Spotify we do, we do have the tier list going on YouTube. If you're just listening to the audio, guys, you can watch this on YouTube and, and, and watch along it's, as it's, well. Mm, it's just a list. It's not riveting watching, just saying. Well, it's just like it. Yeah, if yeah. you like a visual. Go on. Okay, next up is Blake Oakfield, former champion surfer from the fictional town Nam- Nambaka Bay. And part of the Mucka Mad Boys. <laughs> Mucka Mad Boys. So were they kind of like Bra Boy Bra parodies? Boys yes. Parody. Yes, and they were their rivals were the Fennel Head Fennel Hell Men. It's a good character. There's just so many uh, more iconic ones. Mm. Um, I don't really remember it. Exactly. If you don't really remember him, I'm happy putting him in 14 and then moving the little fat English boy nah, down. Nah, I oh, reckon you want put him in 15. 15. Okay, 15. Yeah, I don't really remember. There. Yeah, I think the main thing was he doesn't have, he lost one of his balls. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a bit of a weak storyline. Mm. Okay, uh, now we've got Ruth Sims, also <laughs> commonly referred to as Gran, uh, Gran. youth detention officer. I remember officer. this one. She, I feel like this would be highly based on a real person. Yeah. I feel like that character's out there, working, yeah. a lady working with young detention center boys. Just, she's got such a big heart, doesn't she? Always yeah. Always seeing the best in the boys. I think seem to remember during the first episode, um, she divided the uh, t- inmates into light skins <laughs> and dark skins. <laughs> <laughs> Where was smells? Instead of shirts and skins, yeah. <laughs> and she had quotes like, uh, I thought uh, wogs were meant to be good at soccer. Oh, that's funny. And uh, <laughs> I'm not going to repeat the other one. <laughs> <laughs> repeat the other one, we'll bleep it. Mm, no, nah. we won't. We won't. <laughs> um, what do we reckon for her? <sighs> Does she crack the top ten? I don't know. I don't know if she does. Looking at the rest of the massive mm. contenders we've got on the list, Put I don't 11. think she does. Yeah, go 11. There's a nice little gap for her there. Okay, massive one here is from Summer Heights High, Mr. Mm. G. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's, he's so straight, funny. Straight to top three. Easily. Mr. G's Mr. G so is good. so funny. I am surprised that he hasn't done a Mr. G series just mm. with Mr. G. I did hear that he's got a lot shelved, that he's like waiting to sell kind of things. But Mr. G, I feel like, that shit was so funny. I feel like that's his final form. Yeah. It, it's almost like it's Mr. G's too easy for him. He's the yeah. best at Mr. G. Like that fucking pill musical. Yeah, it was um, <laughs> Yeah, about the death, of a, death of a student who ecstasy. overdosed from ecstasy. Yeah, the death of a student was called... <laughs> but it was sexy. She's a naughty girl with a bad habit. A bad habit for drugs. I'm not sure if we covered this like a couple of weeks ago. It <laughs> no, was... we didn't. We just talked about it, French. So what happened, the musical was about a girl who took too much ecstasy and died. and this Or bad ecstasy. And the same time, a Sydney private school girl called, with the same name, maybe Jessica or something, um, took too many pingers and died. And so the parents were trying to get that pulled because they're saying it's insensitive to their daughter. And he's like, yo, I wrote this and made it before she died. Yeah. So we're not pulling her, but like, damn. And, and then, then he other also, ones. And then what well, we're going to get to is Phil Olivetti um, was a hero cop who saved kids from a jumping castle that blew away. And then a couple of years later in Tasmania, that fucking happened. And the kids and died. The kids died. Yeah. Where was Phil? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just wondering, has he predicted any more? He's like the Simpsons of Australia. Like He is. Yeah. Maybe there's some Smouse stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. 
<laughs> okay, so we'll put Mr. G at one or two. Why two, two? Leave him at two because I'm not we sure. We might have a few. We need some so good. Room, I feel yeah. like everyone's had a drama teacher as well that yeah. was very like Mr. G. Those are the best ones that are grounded in like this could be a person, and most of his hilarious. characters are pretty amazing that they are that. Who's next? Okay, next is. Okay, it's gone around this. Let me get who this is. This looks like the lady. Yeah, this That's looks Pat like Mullins. Pat, Pat Mullins. Pat Mullins. She's rolling her way to... <laughs> is wrong. Yeah, so now this is We Can Be Heroes. Dude, this shit is so funny. Like, I remember finding We Can Be Heroes early. Because Chris Lilly, I remember the thing that blew him up. He was... It was a sketch show. The Big Break or something. The Big, big break. Bite. The Big Bite. Big Bite. And it was about... um like different sketches and his character was like an extreme kind of jackass parody character but he was kind of lame I think Mr. G was in that too really mm. so that's kind of like his big break and then this was next I think We Can Be Heroes was his yeah. first first thing solo playing yeah, all the with, characters with a big up so, budget so Pat Mullins was rolling to the rock for charity <laughs> She was rolling on her side all the way from like fucking say Sydney to Ayers Rock. It was something crazy. She's Perth, 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 Perth to Ayers, Ayers Rock, and uh, rolling on her side. And her husband was very supportive. Yeah, he's got that quiet, supportive, strong husband. And there's that hilarious scene where she's like, "Me and Terry sometimes play a game where I'll just stare at Terry until he notices." And it's just like shots of her staring at him around the house. Like, right? Oh. Um, doesn't he put like the ch- the chicken coop on on the back of the car or something, and she <laughs> rolls in the chicken coop <laughs> to practice. To practice. Oh, no, so she doesn't get attacked by, by animals. By dingoes. <laughs> on dingoes, the, on yeah. by dingoes. And the saddest part about her storyline was she dies of cancer, and it's not a joke. At yeah. like the end of the series, she just dies, and then it's like this really sad scene with Terry without his wife. It's like actually yeah. like emotional. That's deep. And then we're like, oh, okay. Guess she's not getting her own spin off. <laughs> Okay, so where do we put five. her? Five. Five. Okay. Put her five. Yeah. She's um she she's des- great. She deserves the edge of top five and then we can uh, rest in peace. Rip. <laughs> Rip. Rip Mullins MILF. Oh wow. Uh, so here we've got Jonah Takalua. Another controversial character, but very funny. Uh, I don't think he's controversial. There was controversy. It's not. Yeah, your there, there, there was. No, there, there you're was, right. There, there was, was, but I, it I, was about um, Islanders saying that it was based on them and being really offended, wasn't it? Or there was someone. So, in New there Zealand. was a couple people who were were offended. The majority weren't that offended, but yeah, it was based on. Them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was based on a kid called Jonah. It yeah. Was, um, and he's, Polynesian. He's, yeah, he's famous. Puck you, sir. Mm-hmm. Puck you, miss. Yeah. I'm not saying Dictation. Anything. Dictation. Dicta- yeah. Oh, you oh. want me to put my balls on the ground? And then he goes, <laughs> sits on the ground. Bro, Jonah's iconic. He got... Yeah. So I think he quotes. could be number one. We know it's going to be him versus Jermay. Do you want to put him one now or, or three? I reckon Mr. G's up there as well. Oh, exactly. I reckon just put him at number two and we'll do the top five last. Yeah, put him okay. all at number two. We'll do the top three last. We know yep, how it's going to yep, be. Yep. Okay, <laughs> next up, we've got Ricky, Ricky Wong. Wong. <laughs> Guys, if you don't know this character, you have to look it up. Actually, look up what Alex sent us. It's Ricky Wong at the Logies, an actual music event in Australia, f- broadcast on TV, dressed as an Aboriginal man. <laughs> Wait, wait, so he's an Australian man. He's an Australian Playing a <laughs> Chinese. Chinese exchange student yep. who uh, uh, does chemistry at uni, but he also dabbles in... Musical theatre. Musical theatre. He loves musical theatre. Mm. So it's, yeah. He's dressed up <laughs> as, as Ricky Aborig- Wong, as an Aboriginal. Yes, it's got a lot of layers to it, as does his costume. At the Logies. Yes, Kathy Freeman has an appearance. <laughs> she sings Freeman a little. Kathy Freeman is in it. Actually, yes. The musical Indigeridoo. It is. How does the? It is a snapshot of a time past. <laughs> Can you sing a little bit of in Indigeridoo? I think it went Indigeridoo, Indigeridon't, Indigeridoo, Indigeridme, Indigeridoo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's he's up there. Four. Yeah, put him at four. Four hundred percent. Just because I love Chris Lilly doing Asian accents. He's so they're so funny. <laughs> and then it's just so silly. Like there'll be family photos, and it'll be him and actual Chinese people, and they just don't mention it. It's so funny. That's <laughs> when comedy could be comedy. Am I right? <laughs> Okay, uh, next we've got Phil Olivetti. (laughs) From the Jumping Castle incident, the hero cop with a a god complex. When I think about this character, 
it does make me think that's a person. Mm. Like, that's a real fucking person I've met, probably. You but, know what I mean? <laughs> I, just, I just don't think he was as funny as the others. Yes, yeah, I, I don't think so. so. But I think he was a very good character, but he's not the funniest. Yeah, it's at early stages. It's also, I don't... It's also quite normal for him to Chris Lee to act. It's not like... I like it when he's like a little bit wild, but not too wild. So yeah. what have we got left in the top 10? I think like a, if we have like a nine or something. Yeah, put him at nine. Yeah, put him at nine. Smouse is above him for sure. Yeah, he's kind of in line with a Mr. G, like a kind of dick, self-obsessed character, but just not as... Not as wild. Yeah. More real, reality-based. Yeah. Like just a bit of an egomaniac dad, really. Yeah. 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 All right, yeah. what do we got left? Jamae's next. Oh, Jamae. Put her at number two. She's going to be in the top three. A private school girl. Uh, ne- you think it's going to get old, uh, Chris Lilly playing a year 11 girl, but it just doesn't. Those clips of... There's clips of him breaking, like breaking character... Not breaking character, like an outtake of a scene where he starts laughing, but even when he laughs, he's in character. So wow. he's, it's like a girl breaking character doing like something. It's insane. He's what, so deep. You had a cool story about how he got into character, right? I don't think so. Mm, you did have a good story about <laughs> that. <laughs> how he prepared for the role? Yeah. He got inside. No. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Here? No, I'm pretty sure he went through like op shops and clothing bins and he would find all the school uniforms and he would s- made a blanket out of like <laughs> old dresses and he slept under that that blanket oh. while uh, listening to No Doubt, Gwen Stefani. I'm wow. just a girl. Uh, I'm just a teenage dirtbag. He just went through all these sort of teen films mm. like, and he would play them as he slept. It was like mental. How'd you, how'd you find that out? Ah, I just did. Who's next? <laughs> Uh, okay, the Sims brothers. Okay, so you've got them, oh, As, both of them. They're not conjoined, brother. No, they're not. Yeah, no, so this one oh, is no. Nathan. Gotcha. And which so one's the is, deaf one? Nathan yeah. is the deaf one. Nathan! Oi, Nathan! Oi, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Because <laughs> they were in a few series. <laughs> they were in We Can Be Heroes and Angry Boys. Yeah. Nathan. So one of them gave his eardrum to the other. Mm. Yeah, so Daniel so gave his So that's why he eardrum. was up for Australian of the Year in We Can Be Heroes. Yeah. But he was... <laughs> they were they were classic teenagers. They play good teenagers. Mm. So what do we got left in the top ten? So six, six and, and seven, seven. Or do we want Smouse above them? Nah. Six and seven then. So which one's six and which one's seven? That's the big one. Oh, you got to put the, the deaf bro- one seven. Yeah, I agree. Deaf seven. And then Daniel, Daniel six. six. Oh, they do manies. Yeah, oh, so they many good manies. ones. The manies. Um, <laughs> this is our dog Ja Rule. We call him that because he's black. It's <laughs> a quote. Or chicks are more attracted to blokes with spastic qualities. <laughs> I have heard that teenagers from the countries. Ah, uh, so there's the there's the list finished. We've just got the top three to sort okay. out. Okay, this how, is tough. How can you choose between Mr. G, Jonah, and Jamae? Hmm. Have I got anything here? I mean, okay, I'm looking at them all amazing characters. But in if I'm rating characters, the jump from a 40 year old man to a 16 year old schoolgirl and being so good at it you want is Jermaine making me number, number one. one. You want a number one? I think so. In terms of like, there's Chris Lilly and there's something he's created. That's fucking insane. Yeah. And Jamae has the most, the most spin-offs. spin-offs. She's, yeah, I it. think she's in Summer Heights High. Do it. And a podcast, podcast where he does Jamae her own, own do it. show. Yeah, yeah, do it. It's iconic. And th- just the, or even the storylines in Summer Heights High yeah. of the exchange student. Oh, the Kwame And then when whatever. she starts dating the, the, the year 10 <laughs> boy and they're holding hands and stuff. <laughs> it is fucking right. funny. Okay, Mr. G. I Jonah think we've got to do Jonah on. too. Yeah, okay. Jonah 2 and Mr. G3. But yeah, that's a strong top three. They're all amazing. Um, I'm interested in what... Uh... <laughs> I think people are going to be surprised at Pat Mullins, number five, <laughs> looking at that list. Yeah, no, I don't I know if it. Pat Mullins... I get it. I think Pat Mullins should be below Nathan. No, and no. you need to watch. You need to watch. <laughs> Have you seen She's We Can Be Heroes? Dead, Alex. Yeah. Have, Have some you seen respect. it? Because I, I, I watched a bunch of like best of in preparation for this so I could be refreshed, and I was laughing way more at the shit that uh, Daniel was saying. Well, I, don't, I, don't disrespect the dead, okay? I, I get it. I get it. I can... Uh, it's 
it's very it's subjective. Definitely, it's definitely a controversial choice. Comedy is subjective, but it's just something that grew on me. Like, I don't, <laughs> I definitely like Daniel and Nathan more. I like the absurdity earlier, of coming up with her. It just grew on me. The more yeah. you watch it, the better <laughs> okay. she gets. And their wholesome relationship and how sweet her partner is. Yeah. It's just fucking funny. <laughs> Chris Lilly does such a good <laughs> mum character. I wonder if there's any interviews of, with the husband actor, like, about Yeah, how about he the was, experience. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's it. So do you want to say what it is or for like a clip or? Yeah, let's go through the top five. So just if you haven't realized, Jermaine, number one, Jonah from Tonga, number two. Um, Mr. G, number three, Ricky Wong, number four, Pat Mullins, number five. Nath, I don't know which ones they are. Daniel. Daniel, number six, Nath, number seven, Smouse, number eight. Phil Olivetti, number nine, and the last an- we'll say is the animal number 10. psychic number ten, <laughs> Yana. There we go. That's we won't go That's through all good. of them. No. Okay. Wow, that was fun. But it's funny that we're ranking these characters, but all of them are better than characters we could do because Chris Lilly's just a freak. He's ah, so good at I it. I think we better can do Mr. Dick or whatever he was, the fashion dude. I don't know, man. It was pretty weird. He was in love with a cash register Frenchie. <laughs> I actually was reading today that to to, fig- to do Jamey really well, he didn't want it to to be like all oh, th- girls to think, oh, that's just what an older guy would think girls do. He listened to recorded conversations and of like girls wow. and like interviewed them and that's got amazing. pretty deep into the role. Oh, so is, were you stitching Tom up when you asked how he? Yeah. Oh, we. I didn't know if Tom actually was had forgotten. He's like, no, oh. I didn't know that. Uh, there you go. Yeah. I guess the truth kind of there was a bit. Is it just as weird? But yeah, I was trying to stitch you up, Tom. Sorry. No, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> We'll get into some stories, huh? Yeah, sounds good. Uh, we've got uh, one story and we've got another head-to-head of more Neighbours and Home and Away storylines. Awesome. Okay, that'll get us through the Christmas break. Let's so do let's it. maybe go the news story first to break up the fucking oh, list. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, break up the fucking list. Okay, this one is woman found boyfriend on Britain's Dullest Men Facebook group and claims it's better than Tinder. <laughs> I didn't know that was a Facebook group. Just kicking that off. Britain's dullest men. Are you been? There's an Australian branch now. Is yeah, there? but I think Britain would have more to offer. Oh, there's some basics. There's over some there. dulls in there. Fuck no, <laughs> if I've been there, there's some dulls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we've got some dullies too. Oh, 100. percent I guess I would like. Yeah, I didn't know there was a dullest men Facebook group. Um, At least I, you know if they're so dull and just boring, they're not going to cheat on you. They can't be bothered. Nah. Women aren't going to find them interesting. And they probably it's like safe. the same shows as you because you like dull-ass shows, women. Yeah, they've got decent sh- they've got decent jobs because they don't care that working in a bank is enough to make you want to shoot yourself. Oh, yeah, I see it. I'll date a dull man. Mm. I used to follow a Twitter account called Boring James Milner, <laughs> who's a football player. He used to play for Liverpool. Um, and someone was just a parody saying, I had a tea before the game today and um, I left it in a bit long, so I've got a bit too much energy or some stuff like that. Uh, that is exactly what the posts are on this. <laughs> really? Yeah. They just stole them. Oh, show me. Yeah, so there'll be ones like uh, I got one here that just says, Just two dull men having a quiet night uh, at, at the bar. Next stop, drunkenness. Him, not me. I don't drink. (laughs) And then it'll be ones about rearranging sock drawers and just doing normal, boring stuff. But that's helpful around the house. Mm. That's a man you want to lock down. Do you reckon normal men are out there rearranging sock drawers? No. No, I've got socks in there I've never seen. No. They're too deep. I've started to throw my underwear out because I realize I haven't done it for a couple of years. I feel like we need a day of the year for that. I reckon that would help men out a lot if we're like, guys, it's May the 19th. It's... International men go through your undies and throw out yeah. the ones with massive holes in the crutch out. I don't, yeah, it's the holes in like the a crutch, prompt. holes anywhere else I can handle, but the holes in the crutch, they got to go. And also, you know, when they get saggy, <laughs> yeah. and it's like there's <laughs> poop in them or something. Ones, yeah. those, your fabric's dead. Yeah, but you're like, oh, I guess I can still wear them. Like, they're just mm. underwear. Just but... looks like I got more junk in the trunk, honey. Mm. Mm. No, we need help in that department. Dullard. I'm a dullard. Just oh. having a crazy night at home. Where do you reckon, what's a Facebook group or a special interest that you think women should troll men for? Oh, troll for men, I think troll. you mean. Yes. Troll. Well, if you want to find a great man, uh, what do you want? You want him to be reliable? Mm-hmm. Have a good body? Absolutely. Uh, be boring, apparently. Oh, so boring. Uh, CrossFit. 
They're True. there all the time. They're they're ripped as they're fuck. Ripped as fuck. Quite they're boring too. So boring. Those <laughs> high fives get them through the week. Oh yes. <laughs> After they do their fucking Ooh, yes. burpees, the only human touch they get. <laughs> 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 fucking what do you know? Um, I guess like what other clubs? home improvement site like like tips on like like how to build stuff. Oh, tradies like to party. Well, I guess tradies get on the gear. Mm. You could go on. Maybe like bird photography. Could you be looking for men selling wedding rings? Recently divorced. But also kind of like... Well, you want them to be dead divorced. So how do we search for that? <sighs> Obituaries. Obituaries, yes. But then we're just getting old. No, oh, not necessarily. No, tragic death. Filter by... Tragic death. Year born. Mm. <laughs> That's tragic fun. death. He's still mm. grieving. Mm. He's still grieving, lost the love of his life. You can go through her social profiles, find out the things he was attracted mm. to. She was really into a certain things. Start fucking with his brain. <laughs> Maybe you are her coming back from the dead. Your spirit is alive somehow. Oh Transfer gosh. me your money. Wow. Transfer me all your money. Uh, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on to neighbors, big boy. Yeah. Okay. Home and away. <laughs> that was the longest oh, pause long ever. Pause. I think that might have been the longest pause we've ever <laughs> oh, had on the podcast. He froze, bro. I thought he fell asleep. I oh, almost what the did. fuck? I thought he left the room. I was like, where did Alex go? <laughs> so he went full Matthew <laughs> he was Perry. Trimming in a more of his jaws. That's what <laughs> Matthew Perry in a jacuzzi <laughs> started sinking a little. So no one told you life was gonna be, be this way. way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> what were we saying? That was <laughs> it's shooting up. <laughs> All right, so uh, Marilyn's, this is a home and away moment, Marilyn's illegitimate daughter, Heather, kidnaps Leah, Irene, Alf, and Rue to seek revenge for being put up for adoption. Ooh. Wait, wait, so, so, okay, on the home and away, someone's daughter. Yeah, Marilyn's illegitimate daughter. Kidnaps so, four people. To teach her a lesson. How did she kidnap four people? Dude, with a gun. Four. Yeah, yeah, she gets go, them all oh, into yeah. a historical building. Uh, it's like a room. Oh, she tricks them no into a guns tour. in Home and Away. So her plan involves drugging Marilyn's friends, taking <laughs> oh, her mother go. to the top of a historical building. <laughs> yep, the old mushroom. Where Heather accidentally story. falls over <laughs> the edge. Um, but she, she's I mean, unscathed. That's, that's believable. You give up a kid, you've got to expect them to avenge you at oh, some definitely. point. Definitely. <laughs> avenge. Okay, next one. Okay, so this is the neighbor's moment. After Toady and Dee Bliss's wedding, the pair drive off into the sunset mm. at approximately eight kilometers an hour and somehow speed over the cliff and that, <laughs> the car lands in the ocean. She goes missing and dies after the car accident, only to return as an evil doppelganger, <laughs> do evil doppelganger trying to con Toady out of his life savings. Oh, fuck, neighbors have just fucking hit that out of the ballpark. I, oh, I remembered the start of that. That's back in my generation. It was the big cliffy before summer where they had a wedding and it was already surprising because Toadie like got the name because he looks like a human toad. <laughs> he looks yep. like a sort of, who's a, that singer from Smash Mouth, like an impersonator of him, yeah. but fatter. Yeah, yeah. And then he's Dayton D who's like gorgeous, oh, beautiful yeah. blonde. There's something going on there. Already weird. Mm. They have a wedding and then big car crash, what's going to happen? And then I stopped watching the next year. You missed out, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> wow. Oh, he gets to uh, evil doppelganger. That's mad. But like, not like a twin. Strange. What are the chances someone looks exactly like her? <laughs> and then... It's uh, crazy what, what they have to come up with for these shows that go forever. They have to get a bit creative, don't they? Also, the craziest part is that Toadie's still going. Yeah. Well, he's on a good wicket. What's next? Okay, so that's for Neighbours. One point for neighbors there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Next, home and away. Selena is kidnapped three times by a religious cult leader, Saul. Saul exploits Selena's miscarriage to convince Ooh. her to join his commune, but fails. After Saul's release from jail, he attempts a murder suicide by setting a room on fire, but Selena is saved by Joey and Jesse. Saul then resurfaces as Selena's limo, dri Selena's limo <laughs> driver on her wedding day, kidnapping her again, but is shot dead by police. So that's four kidnaps then. Wow. There's a lot going on there. If you kidnap someone once, I, can, I imagine you'd want to do it again because you, yeah. you figure out how to do it best. It's like sex. The more you have sex with someone, the better you are. 
because you know what they like. So if you're kidnapping gotcha. someone, you like yeah, you like you know their weaknesses. Oh, more like yeah. Just I know you. I know you didn't like the bag over the head last time. Mm. So I, I did um just drugging this time. Oh, mm, I did. That's nice. Yeah, I did a, a just an anvil on the shoulder. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think religious people do that on every weekend, to be honest. Yeah, like cult out, leader. Checks out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. At some point, I'm going to start questioning her about her judgment. At yeah. some point, is she getting kidnapped? Or did she invite? She's hired the limo driver. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. That one or neighbors. Harold Bishop mysteriously <laughs> appears during a walk near the coast. He is found five years later working at Salvation <laughs> Army store under the name Ted. Yeah. That's fucking that one. funny. That I one. like that. Just five years. That's it's a like long ass contract he, dispute. He, yeah, he had a bit of a break from acting <laughs> and he went to work at a Salvo store and they're like, that'll do, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to write something I care about. That this yeah. show is not yeah. it. Yeah, you know he quit acting and that was just his life. Yeah, they were just like, yeah. just having an off day and they were like, do you want to just do what he did? I don't, I don't even think he knew they were filming. They start calling they just him his actor name. <laughs> his actual name. And they just bought stuff from it. <laughs> okay, that's another that's one another for, uh, for Neighbours then. Neighbours okay. is killing it. This one's a good one from Home and Away. Okay. Tasha discover, is discovered on a beach in Summer Bay speaking only pig Latin due to her <laughs> survivalist upbringing by Y2K parents. Su- survivalist hell. upbringing by the Eshes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got everything we need to survive the apocalypse <laughs> in my bum bag. Ook bay Adlai. Survivalist Eshes. I like that. Okay. okay. Neighbours. A plane crash plot occurs during Neighbor's 20th anniversary celebration, orchestrated by a mis- mysterious alien assailant who planted a bomb. The plane crash, the plane crashes into Bass Strait, killing off David Bishop, his wife, Lejana, and Serena. So just a big plane crash. A plane just crashes into a bunch of people. No, but the characters die, and some live. Oh, no, I don't care. The other one's better. Yeah, the other yeah, one's better. I like Latin. that. I'm like yeah. a... Okay, and then lastly, uh, Home and Away. Vinny, oh, this one's a long one. Vinny goes to jail for fraud, leaving his wife, Leah, and son heartbroken. Even more so when they hear that he is killed in a prison fire. (laughs) However, on the day of his son's third birthday, a mysterious stranger in a teddy bear costume arrives, arrives to entertain the children. When the giant teddy bear leaves, Leah learns that it was actually Vinny in disguise. Well, first off, check who's in the teddy costume at yeah. your kid's birthday. Imagine taking the head off it's fucking Rolf Harris or something. You've got to <laughs> fucking vet these teddy bears. Yeah, that's a teddy bear <laughs> picnic, yeah. Mm. you got to be careful okay. with that shit. That was an interesting one. Uh, and this one... Was he doing stuff to the kids? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I think he was just trying to visit his kid. Oh, that makes more yeah, sense. Yeah, no. Okay, okay. Yeah, he, he we... later writes her a letter saying to move on with her life. Oh, wow. Oh, Jeez. damn. <laughs> It's kind of Dark. yeah, that's deep. Mm. It's like the end of um, the space movie, Space Jam. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, McConaughey's okay. one. But go on. <laughs> Lastly, this one is Neighbors. Erinsborough is hit by a tornado. Yeah. So bear in mind, Erinsborough is meant to be Melbourne. I hate those Australian tornadoes that always happen. Oh, especially in Melbourne, bro. Oh, dude. oh fucking hell. Um, leave the laneways alone. During the tornado, <laughs> long-standing character Luke Carpenter's life is under threat after the winds cause her roof of the coffee shop to collapse on him, uh, which leads to Susan Kennedy having to perform an emergency trichotomy with the aid of her husband, Dr. Carl, on the other end of the phone. I've the seen so phone. many trichotomies in movies and TVs. How often do they happen? You want me to stab you in the neck? And it's always, a, yeah, it's always a ballpoint pen they use to, like, breathe. Oh. It's like, maybe just, nah, don't worry about it. I'll just die. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, you want to, no, you don't look like you know what you're doing, to be honest. I'll no. just die. Must be fairly easy, then. Maybe next year we'll do a, a segment where we all breathe through our necks. But, like, if they, if Susan Kennedy can do it. Oh, yeah, I'd give it a crack. I think if you're, like, banging a doctor long enough, you start to get their powers, though. Mm. I know. Ask your mum. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she probably thought it's a good thing she'll do trichotomy. I reckon she could. She'll probably think. Maybe at Christmas if you get a chicken bone in the throat or yeah, something. Yeah, I'll say trichotomy me, mum. Trichotomy me. <laughs> Give me the track. So that's the last one. So Okay. 
Do we give that to Vinny the the prisoner yeah, teddy, the bear? Yeah, teddy bear? Yeah, the teddy bear one. All right. Uh, that's perfect. I get you'd half want to see, half your, again. see your kid if you pretended to die in a prison fire. But I think just the whole teddy bear outfit. I don't think they'll let an ex prisoner have that job, to be honest. And like, yeah, I get he wants to see his kid, but he's pretending to be an entertainer. He's entertaining the other kids, giving them a lot of attention too. Mm. Strange. Mm. I don't like it. Yeah. Mm. Well, there we go. That's another even split. Home and away, and neighbours are both just as batshit as each just other. Just in time for the break. Yeah, it's you're going to need a lot of good shows. But that was interesting back in the day. Well, none, all of the good TV shows would go, and you had nothing to watch over Christmas. Oh, true. Because they stop making stuff and yes, they just give you that reruns. Was the worst. Thank goodness we've got. Oh, by the way, everyone, don't watch Squid Games. The I liked it. The reality. The Netflix show. one. Yeah, I liked bro, it. Bro, I hated it. Bro, no, it's good, bro. You liked it? Yeah, the way they did it was entertaining. I thought it was well done, but they obviously shouldn't have been 10 episodes. They just fleshed it out for so long. I don't know, man. I, I thought d- it was I'm fun. about half. I'm on my third or fourth episode, and I just skip like crazy. Yeah, see? Yeah, it's weird that you do that, though. You did that with another show we watched. I don't like that. It's, it's like Frenchie so skipping I chapters. I did that by the end of Squid Game because I just wanted to see what happened at the end. But also, they didn't do all the best challenges. Exactly. They didn't do the tug of war, Tom. Yeah. I'm with those, you. 100%. I didn't want those douchey guys to win it anyway. But that's the whole thing is that they find that they really get their come up and in another in another way. But to to find you want to replace it with because everyone knows tug of war's coming. You want to replace it with something. Make it something entertaining to watch, not human battleships where you stand in a little boat and yeah. then press a button. That could have been bit, boo, bit that better. episode fucking. As but I kind of liked that it was something else, and those guys got mm. fucked over. I think you'd like the hundred to one that Korean we watched one. that. Yeah, I that's the one, it. and I was skipping as well because. They just waffle on. Oh, bro, but they <laughs> but got such good, good bodies, oh. bro. Oh, <laughs> oddy, oddy, oddy. I was like, am I getting Are you going to apply sort of for here? Squid Games? It's casting. Oh, yeah, let's do it. You just have to do a minute video. Mm. Just oh. down the barrel. Let me look it up and we'll do it right now so we don't have to do it. Okay, I'm going to look it up. <laughs> what happens if you get gonna... stitched up as one of those that's ones funny. that just wears the pink suit and the fucking PlayStation no, that's thing? That's not how it works. For that, bro. <laughs> They're They're actors, bro. <laughs> You're like, I'm on Squid Games. Which no, one are you? I'm the, the one the You need on a that job, Khan. You don't, you don't get cast as, like, the lighting guy, bro. What are you fucking talking about? I want to get cast about? as a bed, bro. <laughs> Lie on me. Oh, it'd be sucked if you were one of the bricks in the wall, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you have to do? Um, where does it say? Oh, that's so hard if I got out just by someone voting me out because they've done these like special games where it's like sometimes it's like oh if you pick up the telephone you can tell some one person to leave I'll be like that'd get me so cut do you know what I mean I'll like I'd be one thing going out during a challenge but yep. just randomly yeah it's some annoying some person just doesn't like it it's like by the way you're going I was thinking it'd be so annoying in that first challenge with the spinning head like if you didn't move and it just someone it fucked up does. a producer fucked up and you'd be like you can't argue because it's you're done they were saying that that took seven six hours to film I believe that it's just so much coverage. All right. Please upload a one-minute video telling us about yourself, why you want to be on Squid Games The Challenge, what mm. your game plan would be, and what you want to do with a huge <sighs> $4.56 million cash yes. prize if you won. Let's go. But you've only got a minute. So Frenchie's going to go first down the barrel over here. Yep. And uh, so I'll remind you what your game plan would be. Yep. Um, tell us about yourself. You can read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where's the Where's the thing? Oh, you got a little touch screen. That's cool. Thanks, man. Why you want to be on Squid Game, the challenge, what your game plan being, what would you do? Quite a lot to answer in a minute. Yeah, easy. Start the timer. Mm -hmm. How you going? I'm Frenchie. No, I love you good. That was hard. Okay. That was good. That was I good. Because I didn't know if I was doing it serious. Yeah, do it serious. Okay. How you going? I'm Frenchie. I used to be a teacher. Um, now I'm a comedian and expert lover. I want to be on Squid Games just because, just easy money. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I've got to beat 100 people. How many? 400 people. Easy. 500 people. 1,000 people. Easy. I've got these long arms. I've got these mind games. You don't even know. I'm so good at gaslighting the missus. You don't even know some of the things she thinks happen, don't happen. They do happen. She don't know. She don't know. She's still with me too. Crazy. She earns a lot of money. I don't need... I do need the money actually because then I can earn more than her and I can pay... For a house for us to all live in. Oh, I did something nice. You're welcome. Now I bought another dog. Eight dogs, maybe. <laughs> no, oh, ten dogs. Fuck, I could buy so many dogs. Yeah, I'd probably, honestly, I'd just win by mind games and, and just eye contact. 
you don't know my next move. Oh, dab at the end. That was a strong <laughs> wow. finish. It's hard. I forgot all the things I was supposed to say, but that'll do. Alex, did you want to I went audition? into a gaslighting rant. I don't actually gaslight the missus. Everyone else listening. <laughs> Keep her on her toes. I like that. <laughs> She's not sure if you do or not. <laughs> I am Tom. <laughs> I was no, going to go yeah. full crazy. Yeah, go full crazy. Let him know. <clears throat> okay. About yourself, why you want to be on it. I'm Tom Armstrong, and I want to be on Squid Game because I am a master of disguise. Hat on. Hat off. Different person. They won't know who. They'll be like, I hate that guy in the hat over there. Take it off. Who was he? No one knows. (laughs) What will I do with the money? Have you heard of Bitcoin? (laughs) I'll back myself. Put it all on Dogecoin, maybe. Or whatever the internet tells me to do. And I'll probably lose it. And then I'll be in season three of Squid Games with a hat on. <laughs> That's good. really good. <laughs> okay, I want to do another one there. But Tom's, <laughs> Tom's doing funny ones. <laughs> this goes for four hours. Hey, go on. I'm f- hey, go on. I'm Frenchie, a.k.a. Professor Sick Cunt. That's what my mum calls me. Sometimes I want to be on Squid Games because I'm banned from most public places. I'm not allowed within 900 meters of schools, churches, and Woolworths, which makes it hard to buy wool. I'm pretty good at accents, so if there's any ethnicities, it would be easy to relate to the people on Squid Games. Pick an accent or ethnicity. Uh, German. Hello, I am from Germany too. Nice to meet you. I am from the streets of Dusseldorf. Whoa. Yeah, now I've just got a German friend on Squid Games. And then once you're friends with me, we do a blood shake. Bang, you've got whatever disease I have, <laughs> I have whatever disease you have. And now that bond cannot be broken. And I do a blood shake with everyone in there. Now I've got all these allies, but I'm not scared to backstab an ally. Find out where they live, hold their kids ransom, hostage. I've got people. I've got people. You don't even know the people I've got and the things I can do to your family. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I think we're going to get on Squid Games. <laughs> do you want to do another one or you got no, it? I think you that's got it? good. We nailed it. Okay. Um, guys, we're going to end. That was great. Thank you. Um, guys, you can also audition. Just fucking go audition. Yes. Why not? We need some more Aussies in there. There was one Aussie dude and I was like, he looked like a sick cunt. He had a mullet. And I fucking... thought he represented Australia well. They didn't seemed, give him a lot of he, editing time. He seemed cool though. What He could have been a dick. They didn't show much, but they, what they showed, I was like, he seems cool. He legitimately was a sick cunt. And you can tell that because... Those, oh, you're not up to this bit, but I'll ruin it for you. It's been out long enough. The, um, when they got the picnic, yep. the idiots, they go, yeah. you've got to be in pairs for the picnic. Everyone else knew what fucking yeah. challenge was coming next, you dumb asses. Yeah, oh, dumb. I'm going to share a picnic with the person I love the most. Yeah. No, you're playing marbles, you dumb fucks. They all had pairs they wanted to go over, and he's like, oh, chill, I'll just go have the picnic by myself. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, you don't have to play marbles, you're straight through. He's like, oh, that's fucking sick. Yeah, that was Just man. a chill Aussie dude. Yeah. Great mullet, good moustache. Mm, ledge. All right, guys, we're going to end with this. we got a fake news that we wanted to do. Oh, yeah. Um, let's get the image up. So, guys, I've created a fake. I've copied the entertainment s- segment from Sportsbet pretty much, but I added in the next celebrity to, celebrity to be cancelled and just put a bunch of random celebrities um, and just <laughs> left the odds that were already on Sportsbet for something else next to them. <laughs> And then we're going to pretend this is an actual website yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. saying that these celebrities are getting cancelled. Okay, this is good. All right. Ready? You bring us in. I was scanning through um, mates bet the other... Let me yeah. start again. I was scanning through a betting website the other day and I came across this, which is crazy. They have odds on who the next celebrity to be cancelled is. Oh, damn. Who Who's up the top? Oh, man, we got a pretty crazy list. So number one on the list is The Weeknd. He's paying $1.37 to be cancelled. Yeah, it looks like he's joint top with Chris Jenner, $1.37. Mm. They must have some knowledge about it. There her. must be something going on because I was like, what have they done lately? And apart from The Weeknd doing a really shit job on that TV show, I don't know what else he's done, but I'm sure Chris Jenner's got some skeletons. Mm, okay, that makes sense. Who else is on there? Taylor Swift is paying $4. Oh, interesting. So I don't know what she's going to get cancelled for. But maybe maybe by association, that Travis Kelsey bloke. Maybe there's something going on that we don't know about with them. Like, 
Well, I don't know, man. Whew. Jason Siegel paying four dollars. Yeah, that's yeah, a re- yeah. oh, you know that yeah. one. Yeah, I well, I remember when he flashed me in that movie. I did not want to see his car. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And I was, that was a surprise. I was younger back then. I was like, oh, oh yeah. Oh. It was really big on I the screen. I did not consent to that. Mm. Yeah. So was I it think, the IMAX I saw it, and I was yeah. like, that's a huge car. Possibly he's still in that character, and he's just naked mm. all the time. So I yep. get that. Who else on the list? Emma Roberts. Uh, she's from like American Horror Story. I did see they were talking about her being like really mean on set and asking what people were getting paid and making a big scene. So maybe it's something about that. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I always confuse her with fucking Emma, Ranger Emma and uh, Robin Hood. I never know who's who <laughs> with those ones. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. Robin Hood. Oh, I'm going to get a bet down, I think. Yeah, what do you want to put money on? <sighs> maybe a bit of a, like a multi or something. Yeah, put a multi down. That's a good call. <laughs> that's funny. Um, <laughs> sweet there we go into the last run um, guys thank you for another big year we big have, year uh, we have grown the children of Tom and Frangie have grown mm, they've had you babies have, of their own you have grown we've had more children come to the fold shout out our international listeners shout out everyone come to a live show this yeah, year and said we listen to the you? podcast and we always say we always say you're our favourite mm-hmm. I will say it in front of just my stand up fans yeah. that was, a stand up fan will be like yo I, I drove Eight hours here, my car broke down. No, they took the truck six hours. Mm. Car truck broke down, they had to catch an Uber for an hour. I said, Thank you so much for coming. Someone else came behind and said, Yo, podcast listener, just rolled in from yep. next door. I said, You're my favorite. Yeah. And you Over spit on the guy. other one. No, yeah. I didn't spit on him, oh, okay. but I, I still said, Podcast listeners, our favorite. I actually think the truck he was a podcast, podcast listener, listener to that do. story yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's funny all right guys um we're gonna have a break over christmas but just follow us on tom and frenchy and we'll let you know when we're coming back yeah follow our socials tom we'll and be still Frenchie. posting clips and shit instagram youtube TikTok, tiktok facebook, facebook and everything uh we'll still be posting all these great clips we've edited over the years go back and listen to the episodes if you enjoy it tell a friend thank you alex for a great yeah, year thanks, we've, we've loved oh, having you. you on thank, um, did thank you, you grant want to say, yeah thanks grant here's our new producer uh, well sound producer uh alex you had a christmas message for everyone uh yep stay sticky that's true ah, sticky that's bandits sticky bandits stay sticky out there guys <laughs> love you long time <laughs>